Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Floppy Cats and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos. Hey, 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 Floppy Catters. Today we're doing the final product review video for the Whole Life Pet Real Foodie for Cats treat or topper. It comes in a wild salmon filet as well as a grilled chicken breast. It can be given to cats or dogs. So today we're going to give it to Camus, my parents' cat, Tato, my sister's dog, Murphy, my parents' other cat, and finally my parents' dog, Parker. All right, so we are going to try out these grilled chicken breasts. Parker, come here, babe. Come here. So they come vacuum sealed like this. And then I just use some scissors to open it up. Are you so excited? Are you so excited? All right, so I'm gonna take out a chicken breast and split it between the dogs. Sit, both of you. Thank you. And it's nice, it's nice and flaky, so it's easy to break off. We're in a seniority here, Parker's older. Gentle, hey, hey. gentle. So it's super flaky, easy to tear. I'm gonna give some to Murphy right here, see if he wants some. Since he's almost 16, I'm not gonna give him too much. I'm making smaller pieces for him. It's easy for him to eat. These are great to take with you on the road if you need either a food topper or an extra snack. We take Tato hunting, so, um, and he does a lot of outdoor activities, so we don't wanna feed him an entire meal. These are awesome because you can just bring it with you and you don't have to worry, it's already all the way cooked. Ah! <laughs> so now we're gonna try the salmon ones. And just tear it off here. Looks like there's at least six pieces in here and they're all really good size. All vacuum sealed. Got two very excited dogs over here. Can you use my smell? Can you smell that? All right. So just like the chicken, it's gonna be very flaky. And you can see they're all super good sizes. And um, I'm gonna give a chunk to uh, Parker and a chunk to Tato. Gentle. <laughs> Lucky dogs. So again, these are great to take with you or as a food topper and um, it's nice knowing that it's full pieces of salmon. You're not getting any other product in here. That's what we love about Whole Life is it's real food and it's um, you don't have any other byproducts in it. It's just the protein itself. All right, so Murphy, I'm gonna actually break it off a little bit for him because he's an old guy. Let's see if he'll eat that little piece. You just want to watch them with kitties. You might want to break it off a little bit just because it can be a little bit harder to swallow because there's not a lot of water content in it. So, especially with the older kitties. Oh, Murphy, you like the salmon. Is that your favorite? Murphy. Oh, there you go. I'm see my cats always take it from our hands, so <laughs> so used to that. Yum. Good boy. And let's say you just want to open one of them. Make sure to save this bag because it's resealable. And you can put the extra salmon fillets back in. And that way you keep 
keep them fresh for as long as possible, but they should stay fresh as long as they're in this bag. That way you don't have to, if you're opposed to some of the fishy smells, you'll definitely want to keep this bag. Camus didn't have the opportunity to try these the other day, so he's not a big fan of the doggies when they're around. Oh, Nunu, no, no, you want smell? We're gonna give him the wild salmon filet. And Camus and Murphy are both almost 16 years old, so instead of giving them the whole chunk, like I might do for a dog, I'm gonna go ahead and break some off for them. Oh, Camus. You excited? Oh, does it smell good? Good job. Murph, you want some? Oh, Camus loved it. Gobbled it down. Another one? Good boy. Okay, Murph, you want this one? So big fans. And obviously a piece like this will last quite a while for two cats because it's a really good, generous size. And then you've got about, I've got four left in here. I've already done one for the dogs. Oh, it is so yummy. And sometimes we have trouble with both of them eating. So this is a great thing um, to break off and crumble and you can put it on top of their food. To encourage them to eat. Okay, now I'm gonna see how they do with the chicken. The salmon's probably a fan favorite. What's this one? Come here. Is this one you feel? Gimmis. Gimmis. Oh. <laughs> you can't have the whole thing. I'll break some off for him. Noose. Noose. He's like, I like the salmon better. Oh, Murphy's gonna take it from him. Come here. Hey, miss. So anyway, these are awesome. Um, we love whole life, and if you're looking for a nutritional snack for your cat or dog, um, these are great. Chiggy! Hi guys, we are in the process of reviewing the Whole Life Real Foodie Treats. You can see that the bag is a little on the damaged side. My sister took this bag down to the lake where my parents' cats were and gave them some. So then when she brought it home, she left it out and her cat Ash did all of that um, biting damage to it. So, it's been a while since my two have had any salmon. This is an example of the filet. It's obviously like a full filet. Well, not an entire salmon if you know what the size of the salmon is. But, the idea isn't, of course, just to give them a filet. The idea is to break it off and let them have little pieces. So, Charlie wants me to get my hand out of the way. I mean, I can't break it off. We'll see what they can do. You guys are just gonna eat it? Well, yes, that's the purpose of it. There you go. Well, I'll give you some right to yours. My cats don't have salmon very often. I don't like to give them a lot of fish because of the mercury and stuff in our waters. But every now and again, it's obviously, as we all know, a good source of omega-3. So it breaks off pretty easily if you break it you know, in the direction of the, the muscle. You go, i sorry. Okay, I can really break it off. My sister was saying how my, my mom's cat, Murphy, it was helping him eat. So um, he's an old guy and he's got some gastrointestinal issues and also has some <laughs> she uh, has renal disease, so he doesn't want to eat as much anymore. And this stuff sprinkled on top was helping him want to finish his food. What? Okay, hold up. Okay, and just a little bit more, and then we're done. 
I had brought this home for my sisters because she ran some errands for me with the COVID night. Oh, Chiggy! Chiggy, that is rude. Um, Trig definitely prefers fish over Charlie, but Charlie obviously loves fish too. So that's all I'm gonna give them today because that is a lot. Anyway, <laughs> well, I give you one one more to even it out with Tay. Shoot, where did it go? You guys just demolish that stuff. Gonna have to deal with vacuum mans. One of the neat things about freeze dried treats is that they can be rehydrated if you want. So if you don't want to give your cats dry food, um, you can always just add it to some water and it will soften right up. It will float for a little bit and then soften right up. So let's get to it. So here's a piece of the real foodie chicken that I just popped off of that bag and we'll just check it out in a minute. Lots of glare on there, but that's what it's doing for now. Here's a piece of the salmon that I pulled off. So that goes in there. And then just for an experimental purpose, we'll put one of the just one ingredients. So these, this is the one or the type of treat that whole life has made for a long time that I have fed my cats for a long time and they're just muscle meat. So this is from a turkey breast and I'll show you too how those can be hydrated. So just dump it in the water too. Kind of see. I've, I've actually never done this. I just know that it can be done. And yeah, the, the chicken, it's been about a minute. It could probably take a little more water. I actually, it's hot water in there. The salmon's darn near hydrated. And then that turkey, yeah, it's floating. The turkey and chicken are kind of still a little bit brittle, but the salmon's totally soft. So let's give it to Chiggy and see if he'll eat it. <laughs> you are so funny. I don't think he's ever had it rehydrated, so I'll we'll see if I'll go for it. He's only questioning the fact that I have, oh yeah, well, cool. Well, this might be the new way that we give whole life because my parents' cats are both in renal disease. One is kind of in renal failure. The more hydration you can get in a kitty, the better. So that might be an option for them too, to rehydrate it. Chiggy, do you want to try the, the turkey and the chicken too? So I pulled these out and there's a, it's more of like a, well, obviously a turkey consistency. And then there's definitely like a poultry smell more to it. Why are you so cute? What do you think about those ones? He's never had these hydrated, so um, he's obviously, he doesn't care. Hmm, maybe I'll do this for my cats. So they're getting a little moisture with it. Man, I wonder if you could hydrate them in like pumpkin or something. <laughs> so they absorb um, pumpkin, which helps my cats poop or um, like put probiotics in the water. Mm. This might be a new experiment for me, but just wanted to cover that you can easily rehydrate them if you want in water or you can serve them to them dehydrated as well. And that does it for our final product review video of the whole life real foodie treats. Haven't opened this one. I'm kind of saving it uh, for a little bit down the road since we had a lot of real foodie. They were generous in what they sent us. So I thought I'd save this one for um, either more fun videos or just a special occasion or something like that. I will include a link to where you can buy the real foodie, um, the salmon filet or the grilled chicken breast below in the about section of this video. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and we'll see you next time. We're going to go have some treats because they just came in from outside and that's when I give them their treats. It's kind of an incentive to come inside and then um, our afternoon snack, if you will. Oh, meant to mention Charlie did not like whole life rehydrated, but Trig was totally fine with it. Um, my parents' cat, Camus and my parents' cat Murphy
who are 15 and almost 16 years old and both in renal disease, both liked the salmon rehydrated. So that's an option if you're looking to get more moisture in your kitties. Bye for now.